Hello. Are you speaking from unconsciously a child's perspective? What do I mean by that? Well, as an NLPer for the past 23 years, and certainly the first three or four years, I was training more and more to become more efficient and certainly more experienced in NLP and listening to clients' language. So some NLPers think that they just have to learn the techniques and then they are a good practitioner. A good NLPer listens to language and listens to every word that the client is saying. So to become an active listener, we really do need to listen very carefully. And certainly with many of my clients, in fact, perhaps with most of them, you often hear this child's perspective that comes from an unconsciousness, certainly not a conscious awareness, because consciously they're an adult and they have a job or a career or whatever, but unconsciously there is still this child's perspective. Now that could be through past trauma that has never been resolved, but we hear the words and also not only the words, but the tonality that goes with this as well. So they almost sound like a child. And this is what a NLP practitioner and therapist picks up on straight away and maybe even challenges the client about that unconscious perspective. Now I've seen many people from all ages, even up to the age of over 60, they're still speaking from that child's perspective. In fact, not long ago I heard somebody talking about their father in the past who ruled them with a rod of iron and still did now. And that client was 50 years old. And when I challenged that, uh, they didn't really have an awful lot to say about it because they really knew that consciously or cognitively, it sounded ridiculous for a 50 year old to be speaking about their father in that way. But it may tell you that sometimes past trauma has lodged carefully, if you like, at an unconscious level and when they think of that parent, they still think of that childhood perspective, how they feel about that parent. So they look in the mirror and they know that they're 50 years old and they look 50 years old perhaps, but unconsciously they are still that child. So what does a therapist do about that? Because they need to grow up both unconsciously and consciously as well. Certainly with many younger clients, they don't want to grow up for some reason. Maybe they fear something bad might happen to them. Maybe they're fearing their sexuality. So they remain as a child unconsciously and that stops them from moving ahead and moving on and being that mature adult. So obviously if I spoke to my granddaughter who's eight years old about boyfriends, she would look at me with disdain and just not be able to answer or even say, I don't like boys. And that's normal. That's normal thinking. If she was 18 or 20 years old and she still said the same thing, well, we may have to discuss her sexuality, of course, but if she still said, no, I don't want relationships, then something is going on at an unconscious level that needs to be explored and find out what it is that they fear because that's what it is. There's some kind of fear at the heart of all of this. And so the therapist's job is to help to uncover those distortions that they've got at that level and allow the client to understand themselves how they are speaking at an unconscious level one moment and then a very conscious level the next. So you could call this a conflict conflict in their mind and that keeps them in that fear and that anxiety and it stops them from moving forward. You know in the past we've called it limitations and a limitation is just something that stops you from doing something because of the fear that's there and many people who've got anxiety have huge limitations. Of course the worst kind of limitation would be agoraphobia don't go out, don't face the world, don't do anything at all. Those people probably, and I've probably discussed it before in past videos, they enjoyed the lockdown because it stopped them 
from going outside. It's almost like they had a free pass not to have to explore why they don't go out or anybody to ask them. They enjoyed that time of being indoors because they felt safe. So fear and safety often keeps people at an unconscious level and from that childhood perspective. So if you find yourself sometimes speaking and sounding like a child or somebody says to you, you know, that sounds childlike. You're not a child, but it sounds childlike. Then you may want to explore it further, either with a therapist or explore it yourself and find out how you can end the conflicts and become free to do what you want to do.